the Chinese armed forces have invested in the development and production of various self-propelled model systems to enhance their artillery capabilities. These systems range from light to medium and heavy self-propelled models designed to meet the different operational requirements. The PLA PCP-001 is an 82mm self-propelled model system used by the People's Liberation Army of China. It serves as a portable and versatile indirect fire support weapon designed to provide rapid and accurate artillery support for ground forces in various military operations. It is known that the PCP-001 was developed in 2014 and was officially made public for the first time in 2021 when Chinese state media published videos of units under the Xinjiang Military Command live fire demonstration. In the video, PCP-001 82mm self-propelled motors were mounted on a modified Dongfeng 4x4 vehicle. Norinco represents the 82mm self-propelled rapid deployment motor based on the proven TAP-99 motor system, which is analogous to the Soviet-style 2B9 Vesalik motor. By installing the TAP-99 high-speed motor on the fast, highly mobile chassis 4x4, the weapon system provides excellent lethality and mobility in fast attacking operations. The main purpose of the 82mm self-propelled motor is the suppression and neutralization of targets opposing motorized infantry. It can also fire aerosol, incendiary, and illuminating projectiles. The motor system is mounted on a Dongfeng EQ2050 4x4 light tactical vehicle. It is powered by a Cummins EQB150 20 diesel engine with a power output of 150 horsepower produced in China under license. The suspension is independent, based on vertical springs. Tab 99 motor has horizontal guidance of 360 degrees and can be guided vertically in the range from minus 1 to plus 85 degrees. The guidance drive is manual. The maximum motor range is from 6 to 8 kilometers, depending on the type of mine and trucks. In addition, direct fire is provided. For two types of fire motor and direct fire, there are separate sighting devices. The ammunition of the self-propelled motor is compatible with all existing Chinese mines of 82mm caliber. This can be fragmentation, smoke, incendiary, lighting, and other types. Against ammo vehicles, it is proposed to use a special cumulative projectile. Mice are transported in stacks in rectangular metal cassettes for pieces each. Preparation for the first shot is done manually. At the moment of the shot, the moving parts of the implement under the action of recoil begin to shift backwards, compressing the turning spring. When they are reversed, the next mile is attracted from the cassette and then fed into the truck chamber. Such automation allows obtaining a technical rate of fire at the level of 110 to 120 rounds per minute for one cassette. Practical rate of fire does not exceed 40 rounds per minute. The vehicle has advanced controls for shooting. At the disposal of the gunner, 
there is a satellite navigation system coupled with devices for receiving and processing data. With the help of shoot equipment, data are calculated for shooting. The crew of the vehicle consists of four people, the driver, the commander, the gunner, and the loader. The primary role of the PLA PCP-001 is to provide immediate fire support to infantry units and other ground forces. Its motor rounds can be fired to suppress enemy positions, neutralize threats, and provide cover for advancing friendly forces. Being self-propelled, the PLA PCP-001 offers high mobility on the battlefield. It can quickly reposition to different locations to adapt to changing tactical situations, providing timely and responsive fire support wherever needed. The PCP-001 is integrated to the PLA's overall artillery and ground forces structure, allowing it to coordinate and synchronize its fire support with other units and assets on the battlefield, including infantry, ammo vehicles, and artillery batteries. Overall, the PLA PCP-001 attitude but self propel motor enhances the Chinese armed forces' capabilities by providing responsive and effective indirect fire support in various combat scenarios.